So in this demo, what I'm trying to present is uh, HD inside Kafka, and I'm trying to present it using uh, IoT implementation. So uh, what I have on the screen is uh, the interfaces which I wanted to present, but before I do that, I'll show you on a high level what, uh, what I'm referring to. So we have an IT, IoT device, which will be our producer for the HD Insight message. And then we will publish the message to an API endpoint, which is again sitting in the same virtual network as the as the HD Insight Kafka. And then the middleware, middle part is about the HD Insight Kafka ecosystem, which is all managed and controlled and provisioned by Azure. On the other side, I have also set up a console application, which is sitting inside the same virtual network on a VM running as a background job, which is continuously listening to these brokers to all the messages which are coming in. And once the message is uh, listened by this consumer, it will publish it to a SignalR instance, which is a connected platform for web application. And from SignalR, the message will be flowing to the web application. So this is in a nutshell what I'm trying to present over here. So what you have on the screen is on the left side, uh, as you can see, we have this uh, uh, console, which is Azure Cloud Shell. And uh, I, what I've done is, I'll just show what I've done. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to connect to the, to the Kafka instance, the broker. My topic name is test. So as you can see over here, the topic name is test. Uh, now on the right side, what I have is, uh, a gauge which I have built the web application which I was referring to so over here this was our web application and which is connected through SignalR to this uh, consumer which is a listener of the broker so this is the web application which I'm referring to and I have produced a gauge in this so as soon as we get some message from the from the producer it will which is the IoT device in this case uh, as we saw on this in this diagram so we have an IoT device which is our producer as soon as that message is published and it is received by the Kafka instance, it will be it will be listened by the consumer application and then it will be published to this web application. So what I'll do is I'll I'll disconnect the other camera and I'll show you the IoT implementation which I was referring to in the diagram. So it looks something like this. Uh, this is a ESP8266 uh, device. It's a Wi-Fi enabled device. And uh, what we have is, uh, this is basically uh, connected with a photo sensor. So what I'm referring to the photo sensor is this particular small component over here. I hope it should be visible. Yep, this is the small component which I'm really referring to photo sensor. Now what is happening is based on whatever, we, whatever uh, light intensity we have in the room, this photo sensor is delivering a, a value, a voltage value for that particular light. And uh, as soon as we will enable torch on this sensor, the, the particular uh, sensor will get more brightness and it will show more light. So as you can see on the screen at this stage, we are getting a value somewhere in between 200 and 250, which is the default room value. Uh, that's the amount of light in the room. Uh, what I'll do is I'll connect the Kafka instance so that we get the same uh, same value in, in the Kafka side as well. So okay, so what do you see over there is we have around 218, which is somewhere in the middle. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll cover this now. So since I've covered the sensor, so the value has dropped. So it has gone to 26 or 16. Yeah, and now it is 20. So what I'll do is I'll remove uh, the I'll, I'll enable the sensor to the room light and now you can see the value has again gone back to 220. So yeah uh, okay now what I'll do is I'll just enable the torch on my mobile phone and uh, let's see what sort of a value we get after that. So I'm just enabling the torch now. My camera is on, so the torch is not working. That's a bit interesting scenario. But what I will do is 
Okay, what I'll do is I'll turn off the light in the room so we should get some some low light. Now I've turned off the light inside the room and we can see the value has dropped. So it has gone between 150 and 200. Now if I turn on the light, now you will see that the light should go up. Yep, so it has gone to 300. So that's because the brightness in the room has changed. Uh, it's not a very, uh, complex uh, implementation. Uh, HD Insight is quite straightforward. You can enable a Kafka instance in minutes, maybe in 10, 15 minutes, that's what it takes. And then once the instance is uh, enabled, then yeah, you can just create an endpoint, which would be a public endpoint where these IoT devices or any of the other interfaces can publish the message. And then once the message is received by these uh, by the interface, it will publish it to HD Insight, and from the other side, you can have a consumer which will then listen to these uh, messages and then publish it to whatever destination you want to uh, publish. Uh, you want to process the message. So, hope you like this particular uh, uh, implementation. Uh, yeah, it'll be really great if you can put some feedbacks and let me know what uh, else would you like to see. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a very good day.